We've had a wonderful recovery, says Obama. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Well, the CBO has done it again. A CBO slams Obama's recovery, and they say labor force won't recover for years, even after he's gone. <laughs> This from the Daily Caller, the Congressional Budget Office has more bad news for President Barack Obama. His economic recovery isn't working and is much worse than the previous four recoveries. Quote, more than four and a half years after the end of the recession, employment has risen sluggishly much more slowly than it grew on average during the four previous recoveries that lasted more than one year, the report reads. The CBO also lent credence to Republican insistence that the small decline in unemployment often touted by White House are largely because of disenchanted and unemployed people dropping out of the labor force and not being counted. Quote, at the same time, the unemployment rate has fallen only partway back to its pre-recession level and a significant part of the improvement is attributable to a decline in labor force participation that has occurred as an unusually large number of people have stopped looking for work, the CBO report reads. Moreover, the rate of long-term unemployment, the percentage of the labor force that has been out of work for more than 26 consecutive weeks, remains extraordinarily high. The CBO report counts the recession as being beginning December of 2007, when the economy began to contract, and ending in June 2009, when the economy began to expand again. Though the CBO was more optimistic about the next decade, the report cautions to not expect the labor market to recover for years. Quote, CBO experts that under current law, laws governing federal taxes and spending, output will grow more rapidly in the next few years than it has been in the recent past, but recovery in the labor market will continue for some time, the report reads. The agency projects that by the second half of 2017, the gap between actual and potential GDP will return to its average historical relationship, bringing the effects of cynical conditions on unemployment and labor force participation back to their average values in 2018. The pace and nature of the economic recovery has been difficult to predict and the path of the economy and the labor market will no doubt hold surprises as well, the summary concludes. CBO's projection of the labor market are subject to several sources of uncertainty and many developments could cause outcomes substantially different from the CBO's has projected. The report was compiled by CBO Macroeconomic Analysis Division analyst David Brower and Charles Whalen. It has been my experience that the CBO always makes a very conservative estimate. So if they say that jobs will not return until 2018, you could expect that that number is actually going to be more like 2030 or possibly never. You cannot predict when jobs will return unless we drastically reduce government, drastically reduce uh, taxes, drastically cut and delete regulations. I know that the, the mainstream media tells you that regulations are so great. We need more regulations. We need more regulations. And cutting regulations is bad. It's what got us into this mess. No, that's not what got us into this mess. What what got us into this mess was that the people who were regulating told the businesses how to run their business. They didn't protect anybody. You know, the government is supposedly in the business of protecting you, but the regulators aren't there to protect anybody. The regulators are there to simply make sure that the regulators grow in number and in power. That's what they're there for. They're not there to protect you. There are so many cases of people fighting the regular, normal, average day citizens fighting regulators. Why? Because regulators got in the way of them actually practicing their constitutional rights and freedoms. Don't let the mainstream media tell you otherwise. So it's my, been my experience that 
the CBO drastically gives out these reports that drastically underestimate how badly things are or how great things are going to be. So if we say that the stock market will return to normal in uh, the next quarter, you can expect that that won't happen until a couple of years from now. For this report, I, it may never happen. Obama, his regulators are putting out new regulations every day. In the financial sector alone, they put out something like 10,000 new regulations every month. The financial sector has to hire people just to stay on top of the regulations to make sure that they are in compliance. There is no recovery in the United States. Jobs have not re returned. You can see that yourself. You can see that the closed shops are still closed. And their estimate of 2007 and 2009 is a joke. We were losing millions of jobs in 2010. How can you say that the outer limit was 2009? That's the CBO. Their report is flawed to begin with. They don't want to give bad news. They want to give news, but they don't want to give terribly bad news. They already told Obama, hey, look, you know, if you raise the minimum wage, you're going to lose 500,000 jobs right out the top. Well, one of the Wall Street financial firms came out with one of their conclusions about what would happen if Obama raised the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. They came up with 5 million jobs lost. And that's from not just the the spike, not just from people being fired because they had to pay one of the people $10.10 an hour, but the collateral damage of, since this guy has to fire this guy, then these people over here don't get any more money from the, all the people who were fired, and it just snowballs until it's 5 million people. 5 million people, that's it. Five million, fire 5 million people, and then you can have your, your minimum wage increase. Understand that firing 5 million people is more hurtful than the people who actually make minimum wage to begin with. 1% of the labor force works minimum wage. If you fire 5 million people, that's more people in total than works minimum wage in total. So the socialist medicine of minimum wage is worse than whatever symptom you ever thought there was. <laughs> it is ridiculous. This is Obama. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. Please like the video because the like rating boosts the video up to the top, okay? Um, and please share the video so that everybody can know what is really going on with this recovery and specifically this the labor market, okay? And jobs. Thank you for watching.